Hello everyone. Today I'll be talking about AWS IAM Identity Center and a change we've made. This change is that IAM Identity Center users in newly created instances will by default now be prompted to register for an MFA device during their first time sign-in and presented with additional verification if their sign-in context such as device, browser, and location changes. Before we go into more detail, let's start with what is AWS IAM Identity Center? Previously named AWS Single Sign-On or AWS SSO, AWS IAM Identity Center is a recommended AWS service for managing human user access to AWS resources. It is a single place where you can assign your workforce users, also known as workforce identities, consistent access to multiple AWS accounts and applications. With IAM Identity Center, workforce users and centrally manage their access across all their AWS accounts and applications. You can use multi-account permissions to assign your workforce users access to AWS accounts, and you can use application assignments to assign your users access to AWS managed and customer managed applications. Diving deeper into how Identity Center works is beyond the scope of this video, but I'll just mention that with IAM Identity Center, you have the option of using either Identity Center itself as your identity source of truth, or you may choose to use an external identity store or IDP as your source of truth. These external IDPs include such providers as Active Directory, Okta, and others. If you do choose to use these other IDPs, then you will manage your multi-factor authentication or MFA using those providers, and the change we're discussing in this video would not apply. We definitely recommend customers using external identity providers to enable MFA for their users using those IDPs. However, in this video, we will discuss and demo using MFA within AWS Identity Center when you choose to use it as your source of truth. Now, it's also important to note that we're referring here to AWS IAM Identity Center and not to AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, which is a different set of users, groups, and user credentials and can live side by side with AWS Identity Center. In other words, a discussion of MFA for IAM users is beyond the scope of this video. Now, before jumping into a short demo of the change, I'll just mention that existing customer configured MFA settings in AWS IAM Identity Center will remain unchanged. While we encourage our customers to use MFA, IAM Identity Center administrators can update the MFA settings for their users based on their own security requirements. Okay, time for our demo. Let's see how this new feature looks in the AWS Management Console. First thing to do is to make sure that you are logged into an AWS account, as we are here. We're going to search for IAM in the Management Console search box. Find IAM Identity Center and click on it. We're now at the IAM Identity Center dashboard, and if you haven't yet enabled it, you'll see an Enable button, like here. Let's click it. You may get a pop-up that shows where you have the option to either enable Identity Center for your organization, which is a recommended approach, or to just enable it for the AWS account that you're in. The latter option is a fairly new one for Identity Center, is limited in terms of features, and is also beyond the scope of this video. And so if you do get that pop-up, at least in terms of what we're doing today, we're going to select Enable with AWS Organizations, and then you'll click Continue. I didn't get it here because I've already enabled it earlier. Now it may take just a few seconds for the instance to get created, again, if you haven't enabled it, and then you'll be at the IAM Identity Center dashboard again, this time with a lot of information displayed. Let's take a look at where the new change has been made. On the menu on the left, look for settings and click it. Down below, you'll see a series of tabs. Authentication is one of those tabs. Click on that tab. You may need to scroll a little to see it. Now you can now see the settings under multi-factor authentication. Let's click configure. So here we are. The change that this video is about is right here. 
For any Identity Center instances enabled after November of 2023, this setting, under Prompt Users for MFA, is set to only when their sign-in context changes. With this change, IAM Identity Center users in newly created instances will be prompted to register for an MFA device during first-time sign-in, and then presented with additional verification if their sign-in context, such as device, browser, and location, changes. Existing customer-configured MFA settings will remain unchanged. Administrators also have the option to make this stricter and prompt the user every time they sign in regardless of the device context. Finally, administrators also have the option, although we highly recommend against this, to disable MFA by clicking on this option. Now let's put it back to the default so that we can enable and see the other settings below. And I'll just mention that there are several options here that can be selected for the type of MFA devices that are available to be used. Administrators can choose one or both of these. Then below that, and assuming that MFA is enabled above, administrators have the option to change the behavior of what happens when a user has not yet registered an MFA device. As you can see, the choices are to either require them to register an MFA device, require them to provide a one-time password sent by email, or to simply block or allow their sign-in. If you are doing this in your own account and want to change any of these settings, you would of course now click on the Save Changes button. In conclusion, IAM Identity Center supports industry standard MFA options including FIDO2 passkeys and virtual authenticator apps. For information about MFA settings and types, see Enable MFA in the IAM Identity Center user guide in the links. Hope this update has been helpful and thank you for watching.